I did it. She is finally done. Hi everyone, so welcome to or back to my channel. Today I'm going to be touring my finished forever island called Gumdrop. As you guys know, I've been working on this island for far too long, um, but she is finally done. The beaches are done. Everything is finished. She is perfect. And I'm so excited to share this island with you guys today and reveal the dream address as well. So keep watching to get some inspiration and see my finished product. And as always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you know when I post next so you can get more content like this. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are at the entrance of Gumdrop. I have a yellow airport, which I really like. Um, I have some gifts for you guys over here, cute little outfits and some tools so you can navigate yourself around the island quite well. Um, let's take a look at the final map. I'm sure you guys are all curious and there is a surprise. So we have two users. I have myself and Hubby Crossing, Teddy, Judy, Puddles, Graham, Joey, the surprise, the booger hippo. Um, I ended up keeping him on this island because I think it's just a part of the memory. A part of the journey that we had on this island was him just randomly autofilling and choosing to stay and never move out, so I just kept him. We have Willow, Rosie, Muffy, and Scoot. So I guess I could always like kick out Hippo in the future, but for the dream address, he's gonna be here. Um, my map is pretty simple easy to navigate around, not a lot of waterscaping as you can tell, um, obviously because this is a no terraforming island. And yeah, I love this lineup, especially Graham, Judy, Teddy, and Puddles. They're my absolute favorites. I also love Scoot so, so much. Um, but yeah, that is my island layout. Okay, so if we go to the left, we have the convenient area. That is what I call this area because not only do I have my storage shed, which I need, especially for those spicy island visits, I also have my ABD over here in case I need to get any money before going to someone's island. Um, very convenient. I have this cookie bag over here. Um, I think it was Scoot who was eating this and he just left it here, but I just thought it was a cute little touch. And this is kind of like a plaza type of vibe. It was the first build that I did on this island, so yeah. I think it looks really cute with the fencing too. And we also have a little Kirobi snack over here in the puddle, which is one of my favorite looks in a Kidcore Island. And if we go up to the right, we have a playground, and I think it is the second build that I did on this island, so I think it's really cute. It's very simple and small and overgrown, and I really like it. If we go up here, this leads us to the boba shop of the island, so I love this build, honestly. I love the way that there's just a big boba on a truck, um, and yeah, so this is where the villagers on my island come to get their daily bobas. As you can tell, Joey just had his boba. He is very energetic and sugar rushed, but yeah, I thought this was a really cute build because I love boba, and I used to get it every single day, so I was like, why not honor my love for boba? by having a boba truck shop on this island. And I also put like a little garden over here. Um, I just think it looks cute with this kind of distressed pathing over here. Um, and if you're wondering about the codes for this island, most of them are inspired and taken from List the Lasses, um, No Terraforming Island. So they have all the codes on their channel. So go check that out. And if we go to the right, we have Muffy's house and her Squishmallow store. So I just thought this was a must on a Kid Cry Island. And I think, if I'm not wrong, I think these Squishmallow codes are from Froggy Crossing. So I love it. You can even see a little avocado Squishmallow on the shelf. Um, but yeah, this is like kind of like a Build-A-Bear type of situation, like a plushie shop. Um, we got a special offer going on. Who's going to take it? I really like this area. Really simple. Oh, we also have my hubby's 
little tent over here on the beach. So we're gonna do the beaches last because I think it's just easier that way. But yeah, this is Muffy's little Squishmallow store. And over here we have the campsite. I think it's really, really cute. I like how colorful it is and pink and I just love it so much. And I think the thing that stuck out to me the most while doing this island was how much I love the codes for this island. Like I think the codes stand out so much and really, really made this island special. So look at this tiny froggy code. So this is a kind of workout area. We have a yoga mat. Um, I'm not sure what I was thinking when I built this, but I think it's really cute. And we have Hippo walking on water. The man's is a man of mystery, cause I don't know how he's doing that, but um, yeah, I think this is actually his house. Let me check. This is Hippo's house, yep. So Hippo has an all pink cafe. And I think that's just something you don't expect. So he's a man of mystery and a man of surprise because this is just not what I expected him to do as a small businessman. Um, but he does have a cafe. And right next to the cafe, we have a cute little picnic area. So it's kind of like in between all these like trees and super cute when it's all pink like that. We have my house over here. So the house is not finished at all. Um, I gave up on that because I feel like interior decorating is so hard for me, but um, we're just gonna skip that for now because it's pretty much empty, but I like the color of the house, like the turquoise, the pinks. We have some fake buildings over here. I also really like this this yellow coat over here. Really realistic. And I used a lot of in-game paths so I could put custom designs on top of them like this. I think it looks so, so cute like that. Um, I also have my mailbox over here. Oh, Puddles is thinking. She's my favorite frog. She will not leave. Um, but we do have a mailbox here. I like how we can move the mailbox anywhere we want, but um, to the left, we have another little apartment complex building next to the boba shop, and I just really like the bunk beds as buildings. I think it looks so, so cool. Um, we have a resident's car over here. Not sure whose car this is, but I have a feeling it's Hippo because the guy likes pink, apparently. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Oh, I'm like merging into him. Look at that. Guys, look at that. I'm becoming one with Hippo. Okay, let's go this way. Um, to the left over here, we have a greenhouse area on the way to Nook's Cranny. And I just really love this area because of all the greens, all the colors. And it's basically where the villagers go to buy their plants and buy their gardening supplies. Um... Yeah, we have a little open sign over here. It's open 24 seven. Um, nobody sleeps on this island apparently, but <laughs> I just really like this. I'll give you guys a better look. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Okay, let's head over to the Nook's Cranny now. Um, I think this is one of my favorite areas on this island because of how simple it is and natural and kind of overgrown it feels. Um, this is my favorite flower too, guys. We have the white cosmos. So, so pretty. We have a froggy truck. And I like this item too. It's just basically a bug. I think it's a stick bug that is just placed and on top of a puddle. Looks super cute for a kid core island. Highly recommend. Um, we also have somebody who also dropped some more chips. So apparently people on this island love to eat cookies and chips and just leave it on the floor <laughs> but yeah this is the next cranny build that i did i think it looks really cute then if we go up here we have the latest build so this is the last build that i did on this island and it's just another little apartment area i think it's really cute and they have a place to barbecue <laughs> wash their clothes like I try to make this as realistic as possible. Um, and we have a little foresty area over here. 
leads us to this bridge. And if we go up here, we have a pond. A pond with a fish. Um, to the left, we have this really cool dock area that I did. Um, with the little duckies too, which is so cute. Um, this, I don't really know what I was thinking. But I like it. And I hope you guys like it too, because this is a very unique build on this island because I've never done like a pier before and I feel like it's kind of random for a kid core island, but I think it works on this island really well because it just adds to that realistic vibe on this island. Realistic, but cute. Okay, if we go to the right, we have another little orchard. So this is like a forest orchard. Um, it leads up to, I think this is Judy's house. Let me just check real quick. Yeah, Judy's house. She has a really nice field over here. And if you guys are on my streams a lot, you guys know that we play hide and seek on the, on the channel a lot. Um, and a lot of people tend to hide here. So I will always remember this field as a place where I can find one of my viewers' heads just bobbing in the midst of all the wheat fields. But yeah, we have a tennis court. I love this tennis court. Originally, Teddy lived here, so I thought this was a good build because he's a jock. But now that Judy lives here, I'm not quite sure if Judy plays tennis. Um, but we do have these kind of fans over here as rackets. Some spectators over here. Place to drink and eat something while you're watching. I just think this is a really, really cute build. Okay, let me show you the Able Sisters now. Got the Able Sisters. Super cute. We have a sewing machine over here. Um, some cute items displayed there. And I just really like how the road looks in front of Able's here. And if we keep going down, it leads us to another villager house. So this house was kind of like, you know those houses that are just like huge estates with like their own private pools? Like this is the vibe. <laughs> I think this is Joey's house too. So let me just make sure. Yeah, this is Joey's house. He has a private pool. He has a gyroid neighbor, friend, partner. I don't know, guys, but he has his own area. He has his own, like, whole yard. Um, it's pretty big, so I think it's really cute and has a lot of detail in it. I tried to add, like, the construction scaffolding as well to make this more of a city vibe. Um, and if we go down here, we have this kind of overgrown froggy garden. I'm going to call it the Froggy Meadow because um, it's very frog-themed. There's a lot of frogs and a lot of green, so... This was kind of like a transition area, so I decided to turn it into like a meadow. And if we go down here, we have this kind of bus stop area. This is really cute, and I like how I made like a building kind of with the gazebo and the retro transportation shops. Um, or retro, I can never say this right. Retro transportation stops. Um, we also have kind of like construction going on next to it. I guess this is kind of like a a stop. Yeah, like a bus stop. <laughs> and if we keep going to the right, it leads us to Puddle's house. So Puddle's also has a cafe like Hippo. It is a froggy cafe. So we have desserts, we have coffee, we have books. It is the perfect place if you want some chocolate milk as well. I just find it so cute how there's a pink froggy chair. That's literally Puddle's. So I thought this was the perfect item to base this build around. And I think that these tiles are super cute with the flowers. I just love this so much. Then this leads us to the star farm. So we have a star fragment farm, super, super cute. Gives me 2020 vibes, but I just love this so much, especially at nighttime. It looks so pretty. Um, I love like the glowing items. And then if you keep going this way, it leads us to the museum. 
Also ignore this random rock. Got a community garden. So this is a really small community garden, but I think it's super cute. We have the fire flowers and a little elephant watering can for the villagers to come and water, which they most certainly do not do that. Um, they cannot pick up items, but that would be so cool if they could do that. Um, over here, we did this on stream. It is like a kind of picnic in the park. Um, super simple. I like this blanket coat a lot. I think it's super cute. Over here is Blather's study. So lots of creatures, lots of bug cages. He does his little studying of the bugs over here. Um, maybe not the bugs because he is really scared of bugs, but he definitely does some studying over here. We also have this like specimen over here. We have like a floating dinosaur because you guys will never know what happens inside his little, his little like lab. But yeah, basically this island, um, the goal of this island for me was to have an island that I can keep forever and I never restart and I can just basically have everything there, like the whole catalog, the whole museum done, stuff like that. Um, basically a finished game. Ooh, we have the laundromat here too. So this is a very realistic laundromat. Um, super cute. I like drop socks as decoration as well. But yeah, going back to this island, I wanted to make an island that when I open up my Switch and go onto the island, it just makes me smile, brings me good energy, makes me happy, and I definitely feel like this island makes me super happy when I go on it. Um, very colorful and lively, so this is definitely one of my favorites, if not my favorite island I've ever done. Um, over here we have kind of an awkward, because this was no terraforming, so it was kind of an awkward space. I didn't know what to do here, but... I just turned it into a field, I guess. When in doubt, turn it into fields. Place those wheat fields and call it a day. Um, but yeah, this was also kind of like a, a little filler area, so. Okay, so to the right we have this raised cliff and I decided to make it kind of like just a forest. Um, there were a lot of these cedar trees up here, so I just decided to turn into a little forest with a pond in the middle. We have these two froggy friends, um, super cute. I didn't really know what to do up here, so I just did something simple, but I think it looks pretty cute. Looks pretty cute. Um, let's go head over to the school and check out what's happening there. I think that is one of my favorite builds on this island as well, so really excited. Yeah, this is the school. This is Gumdrop High. So at Gumdrop High, you have a lot of TV time. Like it's the type of school where you have a lot of movie, a lot of movie watching in class, apparently, because there's a whole cinema in your classroom. Amazing. Sign up, guys. <laughs> but this is the school and I think it's really cute. Um, I really like how the tables are kind of set up like this. I think it's a little more interesting than if they were just like placed apart from each other. I think it looks cute like that. Um, we have the apple for the teacher, of course. It's a must in a school, you need an apple. Um, we also have some candy in case the students are doing well and they deserve a little treat. We have a locker, fax machine, all the necessities for a classroom. And I use the wooden bookshelves as the walls. So I think that was really a really fun way to kind of fence it in and next to it we have the gyroid little community this is their basically this is their um, little little neighborhood so i thought that was really cute because i wanted to do something with the gyroids because they were such a good addition to the update and super cute so this is their little apartment complex with the doll houses and i think it's just so cute if we go up here we have a dog park so we got three dogs, a little water bowl, and hopefully they don't fall into the water. I didn't think about that, but super cute. And we even have a tree branch that I left because, you know, the dogs just love to play with branches. So I thought that was a cute idea. And if we go up here, we have just the end of this little path over here, a little place to have a snack right by the water. And I think it's just a cool, cool place to have a snack, to be honest. Um, and then up here, 
up on this cliff we have a lot of flowers, a lot of colors. Um, I have kind of like a little park situation again. There are a lot of parks on this island because I feel like parks are very relaxing and good for city core islands. But yeah, we got the moon, which is gorgeous at nighttime. But I couldn't do any terraforming, so I had to work with the area that I got. So this is what I came up with. I think it looks really nice and simple. All right, so if we go down, we have Rosie's house and Rosie's area is actually kind of like a Buffalo Exchange. She is a small business girly. She collects, buys clothes from people who they don't want and donates them, whatever. Like she has a Buffalo Exchange and I love that for her. Yeah, so that's why there are like a lot of clothing items and stuff. I wanted to make her house pretty pastel and pretty pink. And there's even a changing room in case people want to change. Um, back here, there's like a little cashier. A little cashier area. And then if we go to the left, we have this simple walkway that leads us to the spa. So this is the outdoor spa of the island. Oh my gosh, Hippo. What is Hippo doing there? I've literally never seen a villager in that location. Um, but yeah, there's like a really cute little spa with the outdoor baths and I think it looks really cute. Up here, I had a huge piece of land that I couldn't terraform and couldn't touch at all. So I turned it into a little party area where you have your afternoon tea and all that stuff. And this actually ended up to be a little rock garden without me meaning it to. So I think it looks pretty cute. I put like a little bamboo lunchbox and put lots of weeds lots of wheat fields, and I have a lot of mismatched chairs, and I think that looks really, really cute for a tea party. Um, but yeah, that is this area up here, so I think that means we have the beaches left. So let me show you guys the beaches. Okay, we're gonna start from this side over here. So here we have a lifeguard chair um, watching over the whole island. We have a lot of lifeguard chairs on the beach and I think they look so cute. Um, we have like some fishing stuff, um, lots of boats, very simple. I feel like I struggle the most with beach decorating out of everything. So I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out. I think the weeds and the flowers and just the overgrown feel of the beaches is what I like the most out of this. Oh, I don't have a vaulting pole. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna have to run over. We're gonna have to run over. And over here, we have a lighthouse, another lifeguard chair. As you can tell, I, I really forced it with the lifeguard chairs, but I kind of like it. And then we have like this colorful plank going down the beach, which is so pretty. And especially at this time of day, I think it looks really pretty. Um, a little gym area for people to do yoga, work out by the water, which is really peaceful and relaxing. Um, lots of drop star fragments on the beach as well. I think it looks really pretty. And down here, we have a villager house. So this is Teddy's house, I think. I customized the house, the outside of the house. And this is a little library. So he has a library, a ladder. I wanted to put the ladder here because, you know, like in libraries, they have those ladders to reach the books on the top. So put that there and it looks really cute. I love this. All the book items are my favorite. Like the stack of books. I think the stack of books is my favorite. Um, okay, let's go to the other beaches. <gasps> Puddles! Don't leave! She's literally my favorite. Okay, we're going to the beaches now. Keep focus, Kayla. All right, so here we have a continuation of the kind of vibe that we're going on the beach. Very simple, overgrown, um, not much. And... Since I don't have my vaulting pole, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to run all around, <laughs> all around the place. Get those steps in. It's fine, Kayla. And then this is the other side of the beach. So 
I think it's really, really natural and cute. We got the mum cushions, the butterfly models, a little bit of fencing here and there to break it up and, you know, add something different. I just really like the star fragments on the beach. I think it's the prettiest thing. Got some volleyball, if you're interested. I've literally played volleyball maybe twice in my life and each time I like deeply hurt my, my hand. I'm not meant for sports. <laughs> and then we keep going up here. We have more flowers, more star fragments. And I put cactuses on the beach because I think I saw it on someone's island and it looks really good. So I wanted to spice it up and throw in a random item, which actually looks really good. Um, we have a cute little picnic area. I think this looks so pretty at this time of day, just glowing. And you can play ukulele by the water. Like, that just sounds like a dream. That leads us to our little nook over here, a little reading nook. Um, very simple. This is kind of the vibe, like, with the bottles and stuff. It's kind of like, you know, like, after school, you just hang out by the rocks and just like read, hang out with your friends, have some drinks and stuff. Like that is the vibe here. Um, yeah, I think it's really cute. And we also have this moss ball over here because I feel like moss balls are really cute and I didn't know what to put here. So I just put this, this moss ball right here. We also have some heart crystals on the floor, which looks really pretty. And I think that is it for this whole island. All right, guys, that is it for the tour of Gumdrop. I hope you guys enjoyed this island as much as I did making it. I'm so happy with how it turned out and tag me in any pictures if you visit the DA. I would love to know. And yeah, shout out to my channel members for supporting the channel. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And if you would like to become a member as well, the link to join is in the description and also next to the subscribe button, there's a little join button. Um, yeah, have a wonderful day, everyone. See you guys next time.